Greetings from Washington. From the opening shots to the closing images, this film screams at the viewer to sit up and take notice. I believe in the oldest adage in American politics, which is follow the money. Nothing is sacred. Everything is The images are lurid. The soundtrack is menacing. All part of the disturbing message the filmmakers want to convey. The film is so intense, and we use certain filmmaking techniques to make it more sensationalized than even the information is. And so is it propaganda or is it a real film? The film takes the viewer on a lightning tour of the world. From Africa to the rainforests of South America, via Kazakhstan and India. The allegation that foreign governments and foreign corporations have made big donations to the Clinton Foundation in exchange for changes to U.S. policy in their favor. Al Jazeera was unable to reach the Clintons for comment. What you have here is a 250-page book that's been condensed into a little over an hour of cinema. As a result, the viewer is bombarded with facts, figures, names, allegations. It really is information overload. It's called Dodge City. Critics of the movie point to the filmmaker's links with the Republican Party. At no point does the film produce any concrete evidence that Hillary Clinton, as Secretary of State, deliberately changed government policy so that her husband would profit financially. What we simply do is lay out when people made donations, who those people were, and favorable action that was taken by Hillary Clinton. Now, the Clintons would say this is all coincidence and these events are not connected. I would say, given that there are so many examples of this, coincidence simply does not explain it anymore. The release of the film is time to have maximum political impact. The Democratic Convention is just two months away. But Hillary Clinton is not the only presidential hopeful with questions to answer. For Hillary Clinton, there is the Clinton Foundation. But for Donald Trump, there's a lawsuit around Trump University. Um, there's also a big question about his tax returns, which he has not released. The film is due to be broadcast on television across the United States in the coming weeks. The gloves are well and truly off in the battle for the White House. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, at the Cannes Film Festival.